The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, أَكْثِرُوا مِنْ ذِكْرِ هَذِمِ الْلَذَّاتِ Constantly remind one another of the destroyer of desires. So they said, the Messenger of Allah, uh, what is the destroyer of desires? So he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, death. Death, my brothers and my sisters in Islam, is the destroyer of desires. Death is a forgotten reality. It is a forgotten reality that majority of people and mankind forget they're gonna die, even though they know they're gonna die. No one can deny the aspect of death. Every single human being, Muslim or non-Muslim, believer or non-believer, religious or non-religious, every single human being believes in death. But the thing is, it's forgotten. And it's constantly forgotten. Not only by the non-Muslims, even by us as Muslims, we forget about death. Because if we really remember death, we would not be committing a lot of the sins that we fall into. We would not disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the moment you remind yourself that you're gonna die, you no longer become the slave of your desire. You become the slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And are there people who are slaves of their desires? Majority of mankind are the slaves of their desires. They follow their desires. They do exactly what the desire wants them to do. Even if it's wrong, even if it's harmful, even if it's evil, we follow our desire. That's the only reason that we do many bad sins and in many bad evil actions. If anyone is diagnosed with illness or a disease by the doctor and he says he only has a few months to live, watch their character changes. Watch their life turn from one angle to another. Watch them repent. And it's good. But what saddens me is, we wait for a doctor to tell us that you're going to die, and yet it's not enough when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kullu nafsin da'iqatul maut. Every soul shall taste death. Every single one of us shall taste death. Regardless how powerful they are, regardless how weak they are, regardless how rich they are, how prestige they are, how influential they are, no matter what's in their hands and how much they are protected in this world, they all shall taste death. And if there is a soul that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not make taste death, would have been the soul of his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the most honorable creation to the creator Allah. And if there is someone for Allah azza wa jal, not to allow to taste death or bin Muhammad, but Allah had made it clear to him, innaka mayyit, or Muhammad you shall taste death. Everyone will experience death. Not only human beings, even the jinn will taste death. And not only human beings and jinn, even the angels will taste death. Every creation of Allah will taste death. And the only one that will live and never die is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of death and life.